Uh oh. Tsunami! It's gonna hit all my dudes, isn't it? Wow. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, and welcome back to Temtem. I just couldn't wait. We gotta do the dojo thing. So here we are. Our Aerosola Dojo. Hell yeah. I think it's a watery dojo. How do I get across this thing? To all dojo rookies, mind that gap. Okay. Well, that didn't go as I had hoped. Whoa, buddy! I think I was supposed to do a little bit of battling over there. But now I'm just doing a thing. Holy heckers. I don't know what's going on. I kind of want to battle that trainer down there. Can I go back? Hello? Alright. Well. Team looks pretty good. We got to get these level 16 boys all leveled up. So we'll see what we can do. And here comes another one. Shall we make sure he takes a little plunge? Or fly just a tiny bit too far? Defend yourself, rookie. Oh, so that's how it is, huh? You join up here because you're some kind of sadist, are you? Well, me too. And we both can't both be the tops. You gotta be the bottom. Oh, level 18 and 19. Okay, gotta do some training. Jeez. We'll see how it goes. I suppose. I know they're gonna just, like, pull out the poison moves. It's gonna be so sad. Jeez! It had air specialist. That's why that did so much damage. But my goodness, Squirrel took quite a beating from that. We'll use Shrill Voice and Tail Strike, and hopefully it goes well. It doesn't seem like Loali is doing much damage at all. So, I guess I'll be grateful for that. Narcoleptic hit. Oh, buddy! It does a bunch of damage and then puts the dude to sleep. Interesting. Alright. Well, I got my birdie boys. Worst comes to worst, Gulai is gonna come out here. Um, let's, let's, let's... Let's finish that sleepy thing off, shall we? Let's shall. Oh my god, we're not going to finish him off at all, are we? Wow. Wow. That is sad. And it damaged itself due to overexertion. And more toxic spores. Hooray! This is terrible. I'm not liking this at all. Alright. See if you can uh, shrill voice and get the double KO. Super critical hit. It's not going to happen. There's no criticals in this game. That's the joke. That's the joke. Fart, man. This is a bit of a tough fight, isn't it? Well. Alright. I guess we go Windburst? No, it's not going to work. Oh, fart. I might be in trouble here. Here it comes. A KO. Not good. Not good. Eat Lug's no longer poisoned, so that's nice. And I got one of those things too. Flutterbug. Butterfly flutters by. Hopefully it's faster. I think that thing's gonna be faster though, because it's got levels on me. Oh no. It wouldn't. Good. Excellent. Fantastic. Happy boy. Ha! You're not that bad after all. What a letdown. Whoo! Well, okay. Super! Oh my god! Why you do? Okay, that's obviously not the way to go. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get out of here. Whoops. Are you- are you a trainer? Are you gonna fight me? Yeah, he is. Finally, I've been waiting for a challenge for ages, feels like. You must be the new one, right? The one that got the master out of some hole or another. You must be handy with Temtem, -tem, then. Yeah, sorta, I don't know. I heard some stuff. And he's only got a Psypat. Alright. We can, we can do that. 
You wanna play gang? Let's play gang. My god, it's level 24. Ugh. Gotta get the status. That's what we gonna do. Status it up, boy. Oh, alright. A little bit of wind burst. No problem. A little bit of toxic spores. No problem. It's gonna go well, I think. I think we're, we're gonna be happy here. Let's go Arishio. And he's just buffing. He's got my defense down. He's got his attack way up. So uh, the next the next round is really gonna hurt if we don't get him KO'd. We might, not quite. Oh, that might be low enough for a Peck to finish this though. So that's what we're gonna do. Peck, yum. Ha ha. You spent too long buffing. How's that? That was an impressive fight. That explains why the master has so much faith in you. Yeah, don't be so sad, buddy. I beat up a lady. <laughs> That's how you know I'm strong. Go ahead, I'm dying to see you battle the dojo master. Oh, yes. There's like no backing out. There's no way back out. It's, it's, it's terrifying. Well, we're gonna do the best we can. Put the buggies in the front. Hello, ladies. You must be that Dayton does everyone's talking about. While we respect your deeds, you must understand we haven't made the trip from Omnis Omnisia just to be defeated now. Nothing personal, fellow tamer. More action, less conversation. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, let's do a thing. You think you can handle me? That, that old lady couldn't handle me. <laughs> oh. I smell an opportunity for chain lightning. Chain lightning. And um, also maybe Arishio. Going for tenderness? That's cool. Don't worry about it. I won't hold that against you. Oh, they got chain lightning too. Woo wee. Whiplump took a good amount of damage. But this Nestla thing is not a oh, Nestla, like Tesla. It's a water water electro thing, I believe. So we're gonna have to be careful. Electric synthesize. We're gonna have to rely a bit more on tricksy tactics here. Let's go for I don't know, man. Is DC Beam even gonna work? I think it's gonna heal it. Yep. It's just vol Volt Absorb. Electric Synthesize. And it's buffing itself. This could be ugly. Oh, fart. Well, well, we'll keep it going until he hits me with a Chain Lightning again. Uh-oh. SpaghettiOs. Swadloon is knocked out. And now that thing's overexerted, so good. We will be able to finish this next round, but at what cost? At what cost? Alright, Peck, finish it. Go! Yum! So if you can't name your, your dude's naughty things, like, I tried to name a attempt at my caught Squirt in the last episode at the end, and I couldn't name it Squirt, because it's a naughty, quote-unquote, name. Although it is the perfect name for a water Pokemon, come on. We might have overestimated our technique, or estimate, underestimated someone else's. And they're mad. She mad about it. We look forward to a rematch one day, Dayton does. We do. We do. We do. Oh boy, let's uh, get Gulai in the front. That's my boy. That's my boy right there. Um, I think I'm supposed to hit this launcher. Show me the launcher. We're here to brawl, not babble. Accurate. <laughs> Quite. Then we are one and the same in that. Let us do glorious battle. Oh boy. That Nestla thing is back. I really don't like it. 
I don't like it none too much. Let's see what Crystal Dust will do. I think it'll be super effective. Because that thing is part electric, right? I will destroy him! Yeah. That's working out pretty good. Oh my. And it's healing itself with that electric synthesize, which just doesn't seem fair. I don't like that none too much. Hopefully we'll be able to live through this. Crystal Dust and KO. Yes? Yes, yes! Yes, yes! Easier to deal with now that I know what it's capable of. Oh, but... Oh, but Gulai... Oh, no! How could this happen? And my last Temtem is Eat Log, so... Hopefully, uh, we'll be able to do this with just... Just my boys. They got they got three Temtems. We got two. So, I don't know, man. This could get pretty ugly. Might have to use a bit of a, a booster. Just a bit of a booster. DC beam. Alright. Now just live. Just live and I'll be happy. Nope. Not today. That's so sad. I got my butt plundered. I think I am just going to take the loss and uh, go back and train up a bit. That's alright. Ain't no problem with that. Sharp leaf. That. Now we get to see what happens when we faint. <laughs> Team doesn't have any help healthy Temtem left. He lost the battle. And 250 Pansons. Which is a small amount, I think, compared to the amount that I have. A returning customer? Yeah, it's 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 a good chunk. I wish I didn't lose it, but you know what? It happens. Let's let's just go ahead and buy some balms. That'll do. If I'm walking around without any money, you can't take my money, right? Wanna lose, right? Although if I win some battles, I'll get some money back and then And then the problem will repeat itself. Alright, so I'm gonna go back and train in Windward Fort and uh That means probably another day. I'll come back and and we'll do a thing. Hello friends and welcome back to Temtem. Yes indeed, I've leveled up some of my dudes. I've also caught some new dudes, specifically this Barnshee which was giving me so much trouble before. Well now guess what, I got one. And I leveled all my guys up to level 20. Hopefully that'll help me out. Squirrel is level 19 just because I probably will end up using him a lot. He's got that like natural recovery and stuff. Uh, Barnshee's really strong. We just have to watch out for electricity. So that's the plan at least. And I guess I'll hop down here. Say what up. Can I have your name please? Um, Dayton does. Excellent, thank you. I want to see Sophia. Sure you do, like all novices. But only the Dojo Master has time to test those that beat all other candidates. Otherwise she spent all day just fighting newbies, you see? I want to see Sophia. Sure you do. This place is crazy. I know, right? It always looks a bit special to novices. We honor the forces of wind and water. The elemental soul of Denise that inspires their Temtem. See those shining platforms? Step on them when they glow and wind will pro project you through the air. Stand on the water ones and you'll jump higher than you think. Looks pretty cool. It is. Charge ahead without fear, Dayton does. If you manage to defeat all the dojo candidates and find your way to the dojo master, you can challenge her, if you dare. Good luck. Yes, yes indeed. So I shall. I think I went to the right the last time I was in here, so we'll go to the left and see how that goes. Oh, it leads me back to the entrance? No. Not quite. Okay, good thing. I fought you already, right? I'm dying to see you battle the dojo master. Well, just uh, keep your pants on there, fella. We're gonna make this happen. We're gonna make it happen right now. I beat you guys too? Dang. We look forward to a rematch one day, Dayton does. That's right. Keep dreaming. Oh, here we go. Battle. We're here to brawl, not babble. Accurate. I think these are the guys that I lost to before, aren't they? So now I have to uh, get some redemption, as always. Saku and Nesla. 
was that Nesla? I think I think that's what it said. Okay, so let's go for a wind burst. We'll just uh, gangbang this Nesla. Now it's like super low compared to my other Temtems. So, oh no! <laughs> I didn't realize it had electric attacks. That's bad. I, I guess I forgot that from the last time. Okay, well, um, let's go into the only other thing I have that's not weak to electric attacks. <laughs> Most of my Temtem are, are flying because I want to support the uh, crystal dust. But yeah, that's that was unexpected. All right, finish this thing off. Revenge! Revenge! So, I think that thing is electric in water. I'm gonna have to put that in the memory banks for a little bit later. Here comes the wind burst. No problem there. Get my experience. Alright. And there's a 2Y. Alright, well, maybe we should uh, crystallize. Do you want to crystallize? Uh, ups defense. I guess that would be good, wouldn't it? Hmm, I don't really know. Let's, let's just hit things. That's what we're gonna do. Actually, Squirrel probably needs a rest. That would be a wise decision. Two wise gonna need a little bit more to get through them. Gulai is getting messed up. Oh my god. That is so sad. Well, at least Squirrel gets some rest, I guess. This is still not going well. This is so tough. God, I didn't expect this from Tim Tim. Why, why are you doing this to me? Okay, well, we'll go for uh, not wind burst apparently. Peck, yes, Peck we shall. On the two Y and fierce claw or held anger. Probably held anger. Less stamina. I think it's more attack. Finish this friggin' thing off. I'm gonna have to use my other essence or my little vial before. Uh, before we get to the boss. And I don't know how many trainers we got to go. I guess I'm not against like going out and healing up again, but it's not ideal, is what I'll say. Calibus? Oh man, I thought I got rid of all their all their Temtem, but I guess they're sharing Temtem. Okay. That's fine. Uh let's put that thing to sleep before it causes any shenanigans. And I'll just go for a scratch. Gotta put some damage on this other thing. At least a little bit. Eurishio! And it poisons? I guess because the the thing that he's teamed up with is water poison, so it like buffs it. Is that is that right? That's alright. We're doing big things here. Uh scratch it again. I'm running really low on stamina, but I think it'll be enough to KO. Maybe not. Damn, that thing's bulky. It's so bulky! Alright, Saku gets some rests. Calibus is no longer asleep. I'm gonna put Calibus back to sleep again. And hit the scratch. Finish him! Yes! Quite so. Eatlog is right on the edge. And he's going down. Oh, not quite. Maybe the poison? Hopefully not. I want him to soak up some of that EXP. Oh, fart. Down he goes. See, like I said, Squirrel is just, like, in it to win it. <laughs> um, we could go into Bad Boy. Alright. Bad Boy. Do it. So, while he's asleep, I can rest my dudes up. My boy's having trouble. I can rest my dudes up and uh, bamboozle. So he can't attack us. Because I found that bamboozle is actually a fucking amazing status uh, or buff I guess it would be a status buff so he's no longer asleep that's fine I'm gonna also bamboozle myself we'll go for held anger and hopefully everything's gonna go great Aquastone failed and now he's out of stamina ho 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 good excellent smash him well it did pretty good damage not quite enough. Hmm. I think I think we will finish him this turn, though. Oh. 
double damage. Wind beats poison? Why is that? That don't make no sense. And we bombed, not boomed. Accurate. Super accurate, bro. Extra double accurate. Okay, so now we'll launch and hope that I don't get into a battle immediately. I think I'm supposed to go down that way? I just don't know. Not this way. Excuse me, fella. Holy crap, are you serious? Now I am stuck. Okay, hold on then. Ah. So that seemed to work. Log out, log back in. Okay, thank you for that. I do appreciate it. Alright, so this is where I've been before. Oh, fart. That's, that's no fun. Blow me. <laughs> uh, here's a new space. Okay. Go ahead. Blow me. Get some item boxes. I think I might need to heal up just a little bit. Most of my dudes are down. Half the team, at least. I might get these items going. Nah, I'll just use the vial. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Save the money. Save the money. Alright, hey. What up, dog? You've defeated all the advanced students of the dojo. It's been some time since we had a tamer like you here. Very well, Dojo Master Sophia will fight you now. Good luck. Take care and help you tempt him to some potions. They're on the house. You're gonna need them. Oh, buddy. I like how they give you warning. They're like, hey, now you're gonna fight the gym leader. Get ready. Okay, I'm, I'm ready. I've been preparing for days now. Blow me, bro. Oh, I'm not gonna fight the gym leader yet. Who are you? Fart. First Lieutenant. Oh, crap. You've made it far, Dayton does, but this is where you blink. And wake up at the Temporium. Tem up, Pretender. Whoa. We don't gotta... We don't gotta do all that. That's not nice. And now they've got a barn cheese, so I probably should have brought my electric boy. My electric boogaloo. Well, I guess we're going to just go in pretty hard on the Paha Rock and hope that it uh, works out halfway decent. First, I'm going to bamboozle... I'll bamboozle Squirrel. And then Fierce Claw. It doesn't seem to do that much damage for as much uh, extra stamina as it takes to use it. Holy crap. Squirrel is in danger. Okay, well... At least he's got some protection now. Um, I guess we'll go for Peck and Scratch. No, we could use Fierce Claw again. Go ahead. Do it. Make it happen. Windburst failed. Ha ha ha. And he's going to eat another one. Dang, dude. Good night, Squirrel. Well... Gulai can come out. He's got that, that crystal madness. I think that'll work pretty good. And it gets boosted by the presence of Manok. So... What's Intimidation do? Makes the Temtem avoid techniques for the next turn. Hmm. Is that better than Bamboozle? I'm not sure. I'm gonna get Bamboozle on Gulai. Just so he can get some uh, free hits. And it is super effective on the Barnshee, so I'm gonna do that. Yaw trick! Get this thing out of the way ASAP. It's quite a pain. Paharak damaged itself. Good, good. Man, this is this is rough. This is hurting in a big way. Um, I'm gonna rest up with Manolk. And fire off a crystal dust to finish that dude. And I think I am bamboozled, so Paharok... No, he has to rest next turn. So I'm good for even one more turn. Ah, excellent. Ukama, what is that? Oh, it's that little wiggly... Wiggly waterworm. Shrimpy boy. 
Um, should I rest up again? My gosh. I suppose we'll go for the peck right off. I really hope that Gulai is able to live through this next turn. Come on, little buddy. I think he's safe now, right? They should really have a status, like, indicator for Bamboozle. But yeah, he did have Bamboozle on him, so good. Now we're down to these last two. Ukama and Whiplump. Yeah, dude, I should have brought my electric dude. I don't know what I was thinking. This is crazy. I don't know why I come in here with that dead. This is crazy. Uh, I'm gonna switch Gulai out of here, matter of fact. We'll go into Quackers. That should be nice. I got all these birds on my team. Bird team, squad up. Bird squad. Ice cubes, not very effective. Haha, -ha. water cannon, also not very effective. I think smart switching might be a, a good way to go as far as putting your Temtem in the right place and stuff like that. Because stamina is such a big, big thing in this game. Like, you need to watch your stamina. So if you waste a move um, on the wrong type or whatever, then you're kind of screwed. You know what I mean? So I think playing around with stamina is probably a pretty good way to go. I just got a scunch. Oh, buddy. Let's go ahead and... Oh, fart. Manok's out of... Out of gas, basically. Alright. Hit the whip lump. We'll go for martial strike on Skunch, I suppose. Probably shouldn't split my damage like that, but... I know I'm gonna probably be headed back to the Temporium anyways, so... Whatever. It be what it be. I'm gonna make it do what it do. Damn, dude. I didn't think martial strike would do not very effective damage. That sucks. Alright, how about uh, Venomous Claws? Try that out. Double damage. Hey! Sweet! Unfortunately, Quackers goes down. Such a cute little boy. I love him so. And Whiplump knocks, it <laughs> knocks itself out. Alright. Word up. Send Gulai back in there. I think I've got enough healing items that I don't need to run back to the Temporium. Why would I? I don't want to. So we'll go for Wind Burst, even though it's going to damage me a little bit. And we'll also do the Crystal Dust. Do the Crystal Dust! Like we always do at this time. Oh, my boy has such a cold. I hope it ain't that coronavirus. I should probably make him some milk. So, that's what I'm gonna do right after this battle. This is it then. Seems so. This is the one. Our humble congratulations, Dayton does. You're a worthy tamer. Please proceed. The Dojo Master's expecting you. 650? Ooh, boy. Maybe I should go back and spend some of that. But, I'm gonna tell you, I don't plan to lose right now, so... There's that. Everybody, back on your feet. Let's get some, uh, some balms. Yes. I've got one balm and four revives. It'll be enough. We'll, we'll, we'll make it. Everything's gonna be fine. Fingers crossed. Oh. Look at that thing she got with her. What is that thing? Are we ready for this? I suppose this will be the last battle for the episode, so let's do it. <sighs> Dayton does. It's great to see you again. I can't thank you enough for getting me out of that cage. You're welcome. Can I have your badge now? <laughs> As if dealing with those thugs wasn't enough proof of your talents. You've also made it through the dojo, so you've earned your right to fight me. <laughs> It'll be a pleasure to fight you. I haven't had such a worthy opponent in a long time. Are you ready? I was born ready. Let's do this. She's gonna have a full team, isn't she? Oh boy. Here it comes. I so scared. <laughs> Alright. She's got a full team. So, they're all level 17. Maybe we'll... 
maybe we'll be able to hang. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just basically dogpile whatever she sends out on the left side. Because um, it seems to work pretty good. I, I know that little low alley thing isn't probably going to do that much damage to things. Although it did poison uh, Manok, so that's sad. By the way, Manok means chicken in Tagalog. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if somebody was wondering why that name, why the name is the way it is, but yeah. Chicken. We're learning new things every day. That boy is pig. Manok is chicken. I learn so much Tagalog all the time. Oh, it's that cool thing. Dang, I like it a lot. Unfortunately, um, I think it's electric type, and it's basically strong against everything that I have. So, I'm going to bamboozle myself, hope that I am faster, and uh, maybe sand splatter will work if it's actually electric. Oh, no, it's super fast. Super fast, bro. Manok is down. Luckily, Squirrel did get a, a bit of experience out of it. Or, not experience. Health. From his, his scavenger ability. <clears throat> we'll send in Gulai. That's alright. And I'm going to go Crystal Dust on the Sparzy and switch out Squirrel. So uh, we can get a boost. A little boost to my Crystal Dust. I think that's the way to go. Squirrel's already super low on stamina anyways, so... I think that's the smart thing to do. Oh, it wasn't. God, bad boy. Took a hard hit there. Hopefully this'll just knock this thing off the, off the map. It doesn't quite. Now I've got some toxic spores to deal with. My goodness. We can't let anybody faint. That's going to uh, present some big problems. Let's go for heavy blow, I suppose. See if that'll do anything. Really, I don't think it does, bad boy. Uh, pig a pick, as it were, is more of a support character. Oh, and I remember there's a, like a little toddler or something that wants to see my piggy pick. So maybe we'll head back to the last town and show show my little my little dude off. Oh man. That's her, her big boss. Level 22. Oh, I wasn't ready. I was not ready. Okay, well, um, I guess we'll go for crystal dust on this thing. Oh man, this is so bad. I don't know. Ice shuriken. That doesn't sound good. Now I am frozen. I do have a speed boost because of the umbrella. But, uh... I don't know what the frozen status does. So that's probably not good. Wind blade incoming. Wind burst incoming. Oh boy. Gulai is no longer poisoned. Getting too cold will inflict frozen and the Temtem won't be able to attack. Oh, fart. Well, I'm gonna hit Gulai with the bomb. Bad boy. Oh man. I guess we'll try and heavy blow and get rid of this thing. I suppose. Fingers crossed. Uh oh. Tsunami! It's gonna hit all my dudes, isn't it? Wow. What is even. Wow, dude. That's... that... that hurts. He did take a huge amount of damage, so I guess that's the upside, but holy crap. Gulai's no longer frozen. Let's send Squirrel in here. Squirrel can get himself healed up just a bit. That'll be nice. Um, Gulai's in bad shape. All right. We'll go for Helldanger on one, and a little Nibble on the other. Boy, oh boy. 
I think once I take these two down, it's gonna be her last set of Temtem, so... Oh, it lived. Damn it. That sucks so hard. Okay, she's got a piggy pick. Damn. This episode's gonna run long, and if I lose, I'm gonna be so disappointed. We do, got, we do have some bombs. I guess I'll drop a bomb on Gulai. And we'll go ahead and scratch her, her big boy. Just live, Gulai. That's all I really need. Here comes a kick. Ooh. And a heavy blow. Ooh. Squirrel's living it up pretty good, though. No problem there. Pick a pick is, like I said, not that tough. So now she's got her uh, two flying types out here. And, yeah, that's not a huge problem, I guess. I want to get rid of this pig -a pig first. Although 2Y is very powerful, as you can see there. Oof. That hurts. <clears throat> well, Gulai's getting rested up. We've got Eat Log out here still. So, let's, let's make some things happen. I'll go for the Crystal Dust. And we can use Eat Log's move to heal up Gulai, right? That's gonna work well. So now he's almost at full health. I definitely can't lose this. There's no way that that's gonna do. Heavy blow. Man, they are really teaming up. Okay. I think another rest will do fine. And Wind Burst, I don't think it's going to work too well. Let's go for Hypnosis on this 2Y. Ooh, he knocked... He knocked freaking Gulai out. Dang it. Hurt himself due to overexertion. I am going to put that thing to sleep. I don't know how much time it's actually going to buy me, though. Quackers, you're my... You're my last hope. <laughs> Let's try out the Water Blade, and I'm going to revive Gulai. Whatever, dude. There you go. Gulai has revived. Another heavy blow. No problem there. A little damage from overexertion. Water Blade seems to be doing some stuff, so I'll take that. Martial Strike, and I guess Peck. Just, just take it down as quickly as possible before it bamboozles something. Feather Gatling again, damage from overexertion. Sweet! Pick a pick gets smacked in his shit. Oh boy. Now Venomous Claws and I guess Peck. I guess I didn't really need to revive Gulai, but um, it makes me feel better. <laughs> That's fine. A little more peck, a little more martial strike. Kill him. It's over! Oh boy. Thought Quackers was gonna faint. Came down to the wire there. But who was victorious? The Dayton Do. Wow, that was a great battle. I haven't had so much fun since I was an apprentice myself. 700 pan sons. Thanks, bitch. I mean, lady. But you're an apprentice no more, Dayton does. From this moment on, your name will be recorded in the books of Aerosola Dojo as one of us. A full tamer. Ooh, congratulations, you've earned this. Surfboard, shit yeah, dude. All right, time to do some surfing. Yeah, that's my surfboard. I want you to have it. I have nothing better to give as a thank you, and I won't be surfing for a while. So please accept it. I'm sure you'd enjoy a bit of surfing in the Sierra River after all this hard work. And it's the best way to catch water, Tim Tim, too. How can I get even better? If you're truly committed to becoming an even better tamer, you need to find bigger challenges. Mmm, yes, I think you're ready. It's time you took a step outside. Go to Omnesia and find a man called Rawiri. He's the master of the Mokupuni, Mokupuni Dojo, an old friend of mine. He'll teach ya. Okay, how do I get there? There's only one way, by airship. Go to the airship terminal and find the ship called the Narwhal. Its captain's an old veteran, Adia Teray. She's your best bet. Good luck and good catch. 
I'm proud of you, Dayton does, and I know Professor Constantinos will be proud of you too when he hears the news. Ah. <sighs> Satisfying. <laughs> oh, but do I ever need some healing now. Damn. That was quite a battle, I must say. I didn't expect to uh, get slapped around so much. I did basically like five hours of training and still managed to get slapped around by the Dojo Master. So yeah, Temtem is... it's tough. I guess it would have helped if I also typed things a little bit better, brought Bumblebug along because he has those electric attacks. But consider a little lesson learned. I'm not going to be the uh, Ash Catchem of Temtem, la Temtem Land. Anyways, friends, I hope that you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, I hope that you'll like, comment, and or subscribe. That would be massively appreciated. We'll probably do some surfing in the next episode, see if we can catch some new Temtem, and then I will proceed to level them up and turn them into big bad fighting machines. Yes! <laughs> Anyways, I hope you'll join me for it. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. That's always appreciated. Also, uh, check out the links in the description to Twitter, Discord, Patreon. That would be awesome of you. Big shout out to Nico the Legend for supporting us on the Patreon currently. Once again, friends, this has been Tim Tim. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I shall see you in the next one. And until then, friends, bye bye One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.